Before we get into the Korean update part of this video, I just really quickly wanted to tell you about the Korean learning slash consistency slash accountability challenge that I kind of came up with on a whim, but I think it's a pretty cool idea. I figured that I wanted to start the new year with some pretty solid habits and I think the best time to start building a new habit is probably now, not on the first of the new year. So I decided that for the rest of the year, I was going to work through one talk to me in Korean bibim chat video episode every single day. And I think this could be so fun for so many people because there are so many different episodes on different topics and they have transcripts. So if you're a beginner, you could, you know, work through the transcripts before watching the video. And if you're an intermediate learner, maybe you can use it to learn new grammar structures or focus more specifically on the nuances or the way things are phrased. I'm gonna be working through them anyways, but if you want to join me, you can join the Refold Korean server and I'll be there posting my updates, maybe every day or every other day or just weekly updates. Or if you're not on Discord, I came up with this really funny hashtag for Instagram, which is Bibim Challenge. I think that sounds pretty cool. So just, you know, I think it would be super cool to have other people join me in this and kind of start building a good Korean habit before the year ends. I will link the videos and the refold server and the talk to me in Korean website and everything you need down below so you don't have to do any searching yourself. And that is it for the announcement. I feel like this is so cool. It's such a good idea to start getting into new things before the new year starts so you can kind of have a smoother transition into the new year. You don't need to start 10 new habits at the same time. But let's now move on to the actual Korean update part of this video. Okay, I know I said I wasn't gonna make a nine month update video and this is not like my typical kind of update video where I go over all the things that I did. This is more like I'm just gonna read some things on link and then explain to you what is going on in my head because I usually do that in my update videos but I didn't for my six month update video. So this is kind of a very delayed updated reading comprehension tests. A few things maybe before we get into the actual reading comprehension part. I was really consistent all of August, all of September, all of October. There was like one week where I didn't do anything, but except for that, I would say it was pretty consistent. But then November came around and well, I haven't exactly done a lot, both reading wise, or Anki wise or anything wise really. I am like 70 cards away from finishing the 1k deck and I feel like I'm not gonna finish it because by now all my reviews have stacked up so much and I don't feel like catching up anymore but that is the current Anki situation. Other than that I started reading again a little bit and I for some reason was a premium member on the Talk To Me In Korean website so I just decided to take all their reading, all their listening comprehension that had transcripts and transfer them into Link so I could prepare them there and then listen to the things later on when I had already worked through the transcripts and looked up all the words. If we then sort by new words percentage, we can see that the stories and rated readers and everything still seem like they would be quite difficult. The number is quite high. Especially for the BBM chat, we're at 89%. But if we then look at one of these courses individually and we sort the lessons by new words percentage, we can see that actually it's not too bad. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna read the things out loud, but I don't usually do that for the whole text. Usually I will like pick phrases or words that I pronounce, but then other things I just read quietly. The other thing is that usually I will look things up as I'm reading through the text, but for the first few paragraphs or sentences, I will try to read through the sentences and see how much I can understand without looking up the things that I don't know. Just to give you a better idea how much I actually understand. 살아보고 싶은 도시가 있나요? Is there a city you want to try to live in? 경은 씨, 네. 
경은 씨는 지금 살고 있는 동네 도시 마음에 들어, 들어요. 들어요. Do you like the city or town that you currently live in? 그럼요. 엄청 마음에 들어요. I don't know what this means because I don't know any of these words. Okay, so certainly I really, I very much like the city that I currently live in. 그러다면 지금 살고 있는 도시에서 계속 쭉살 생각이 생각이 산 산가 신가요? 생각이 신가요? You like the city. You like it a lot. So then, the city that you currently live in. Do you plan on staying there? What? 지금 살고 있는 도시에서 Oh, do you plan on living there non-stop? Sorry, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, 속살 족 족 족, 어, 족살 생각이긴, 어, 족살 생각이긴 해요. Yes, I, I assume this is yes. I, I think I'll live there forever. 그런데 저는 다른 나라, 나라에, 다른 도시에서 한, I don't know how to read numbers. 년 정도는 살아보고 싶다는 싶 싶다는 생각이 있어요. But I would like to live in another city of another country for for a year. Oh, up to a year. Okay, so I would like to live in another country, in another city of another country for up to a year. Okay, I'm gonna link this. Oh, 거기가 어딘가요? I have no idea what the sentence is trying to say me. Spain v Barcelona. Barcelona in Spain. Barcelona. De nomo to 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 I don't know this verb form, so it's hard for me to translate this, but something about liking it very much and then reconfirming that they like Barcelona a lot. You want to go and see? You want to try living there, I guess? Honestly, reading Korean is still so tiring. And whenever I have like a 30 minute reading session, I feel so tired that I can't even focus on like more reading or other kind of studying after that. I always th thought that was pretty weird, but I don't know, does anyone else experience that or is that just a weird me thing? Anyway, I hope that gave you a better idea where I'm currently at with my Korean reading comprehension. Obviously, there is still so, so, so much to learn, but I feel like now I'm getting to a point where not literally every sentence is just incomprehension because that was the case for a pretty long time and it was kind of frustrating but as you saw there were a few sentences where i had a pretty good idea even though i didn't know all the words and i feel like i'm getting there you know it's just it just takes time it is what it is okay and that's it for this video remember if you do want to participate in the bibim challenge 
hashtag Bim challenge on Instagram, tag me or message me on Discord. I would be so excited to hear about your experiences.